This tutorial will illustrate how to set up a model for a time history analysis. We will start with the model previously developed for the modal analysis tutorial. We start by defining the time history function to be used. For this particular model, we will use a sign function, which we will name time h. Note that the curve is normalized to a maximum value of 1, with a period of 1 second. We will use a total of 5 cycles for our loading. We can move the cursor over the graph to obtain the coordinates at any point. Next, we define the analysis cases. We will modify the previously defined modal case to use Ritz vectors, which typically give a more accurate result when compared with the same number of eigenvectors. With Ritz vectors, it is important to specify an applied load that matches the assigned time history, in this case acceleration in the global x direction. Next, add a new analysis case for the time history. We will do a linear modal analysis with the transient function. The load will be applied as an acceleration in the u1 direction using the previously defined time h function. We will scale this function by 386.4 to convert from g units to inch units. We will have 100 output steps at a time interval of 0.1 seconds, or 10 seconds total. Now we are ready to run the analysis, which we will do with both the modal and time history cases. With the analysis complete, we have numerous ways to display the results. We can display the member forces on an individual time step basis. In this case, at one second. And then easily toggle to any other time step. We can also display the envelopes for the member forces. We have the same options for viewing the deformed shapes. And again, can view the results for any time step. As with the other analyses, we may also view the results in a tabular format. In this example, we have selected displacements for just the time history analysis case. One of the most enlightening tools available when doing time history analyses is the ability to create a video of the structure's deformation. In this case, we will limit the movie to 5 seconds with a magnification factor of 2. This concludes this tutorial.